Welcome to the cliffs. Let's get this on. All right. First things first. Those ones that open and close like that, those hold weapons. In this case, a machine gun. However, there's lots of hidden weapons in these hills. So you got to be careful of. I think that was a fire one, yes. However, and it reveals another one. So you got to be careful. Oh, good. That wasn't gone, was it? Oh, well, let's use the fire I caught in the meantime. As you can see, it is pretty powerful. They've improved the what it what it was before. What do we got? There must be more things here ready to kill me. There we go. See? It can kill stuff in a hurry. It's not a horrible weapon by any means. Alright. Spreader. Get the auto blow up and get rapid. Now we're back to where we want to be. Oh, there it is. Yes, this area, jumping up to reveal enemies before you get there is a must. And you're going to see up here in a second. Now, anyone who's read Nintendo Power, which probably isn't a whole lot of you, well, you may have read current Nintendo Power. I'm talking old school Nintendo Power with Howard and Nestor in it. They actually had a comic early on about this level and how to how to avoid these rocks is by jumping up and down instead of jumping forward while you move along because you die. Reveal the rocks, then you're good to go. See, that's what the, in case you're wondering, that's what the turbo looks like. Kind of unfair, so that's why I just use this. Oh, I don't think so, boys. Come on, one more. Where are you? Because I don't want you coming up my back while I'm dealing with these guns in the ground. One more. Yes, if you know where those are, they're easy. But the first time through this level, you're going to die a lot. Those guns are just unfairer than shit. Well, here's the boss, this alien craft here. I honestly just recommend jumping the the little guys, unless unless you're going to have the red things above you coming after you, in which case it's better to take out the guys on the ground first, then focus your attention up there. Uh, I killed the boss too fast. If After a couple rounds, two or three rounds of those red uh, red bullets, that were get, they home in on you if you give them time, uh, it would have dove down and tried to crush me, and it's a lot easier for it to crush you if you're not killing everything in sight. And going into that weird purple tunnel leads us in here into probably my least favorite level in the game because, well, it's just set up to rip lives out of you. It's got a lot of mean stuff. Here's the first thing that's meaner than hell. This little... Okay, you see those mouths? If you see one pop up anywhere near you, just... Like that. Just try to get away from it, but I, that one appeared right under me. Nothing I could do about that. Alright. Now, you see these guys? Once they appear... Try to kill them really quickly because they block your attack. It really makes for some nastiness here. All right, death, 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 death. Now, see those enemies that pop out of the wall there? They just spawn continually. Oh, I don't know if I can get that. Of course not. Fuck. I can't get that spreader. Let's just try to make it here. This is going to cost me a lot of lives. That one that just went across, in case you're curious, was not useful. <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it, it's an auto-kill. You might think that's a great idea. However, it means all those guys will respawn at once. They won't come out in those segmented chunks like they just did, and you don't want to deal with that. Alright, can we get through here without getting killed? That's another thing. The spiders can build up on the far side of that gate. But, thankfully, we're through that, and we're on to the boss. There we go. That was pretty easy. So just to be safe, though, just in case, you know, it grows another head and a big snake is going to start coming out of the arms here. Let's hide. Turbo fire. Not going to use it. I refuse. The good news is, with this guy, you can kill his bullets with your, with your gun. Yes, his bullets are killable. I don't know why they took pity on you to do that, but they did. All you got to do is kill the head. But I love killing the snake. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm just a sucker who likes to score extra points. But I love shooting the snake. Yeah, that was a little bit of turbo fire to speed this up a bit. But He is a pretty tough snake, but now it's over. We're going to sit here and pound bullets into him. Yeah, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Feed it to him. He likes it. 
Yeah. Whee! That's it. That is it. Join me tomorrow for the last video.